everyone welcome back to my channel so much cute stuff today we've got a pretty big several like four plant face orders plant planner once more with love and emily harvey art i will also be showing the planner face main mystery but i'm going to be doing this right at the end of the video you'll get loads of spoiler warnings so you can watch most of this video without having that spoiled for you but otherwise let's go so the first shop we have is Planner Face. Absolutely no surprise uh, if you have been around here for a while. So I do PR for Planner Face, so I get a discount for promoting her stuff, but you can use my code CAT10 to save 10% on your orders. And I do also have my freebie here to show you in case you haven't seen it before as well. This is several orders, <laughs> um, but it includes like my PR pack. Um, there was a discount I think yeah some stuff got put in last chance uh, and I picked that up and obviously I get a discount as well so yeah um was pretty pretty good deal that I got so I did it in kind of four smaller orders <laughs> uh as part of kind of I kept like changing my mind about what I wanted to get and stuff so yeah it's four orders I do also have the main mystery but I won't show that until right at the end of this video so you can get through 99% in this video without having that spoiled for you so let's go through this oh my gosh so much great stuff the reason i wanted to film this is because i want to start like putting get some stuff away so i need to clear clear the pile <laughs> that's on my desk um so this um is just the four boxes oh i'm just throwing that across my desk these are the four boxes for the daisy kit which i showed uh in a video which has now been taken down from my channel um but this is the daisy kit um which is very cute and that was just because anna sent me the kit but not the full boxes so just picking them up so let's just go through all the stuff we have here so this is my freebie it's this really cute uh purple one um my freebie is now in the vinyl but Anna has discontinued the vinyl so that's why this video I've taken it down from my channel because it was all about the vinyl paper um but Anna has uh if you've been following uh kind of stuff that I've been talking about Anna had moved to a new solution but for various reasons she's gone back um I could explain it but she does a better job of explaining it if you check out her Facebook group or her Instagram post uh it explains kind of why that's happening but it does mean that you know for a little while you may get some stuff that's on the vinyl paper that now isn't being used so my my PR freebie is one of those because it's on the vinyl so it's super smooth and it prints really nicely but just be aware that this paper uh has like been discontinued from the shop even though um there's that is in there then I've got three other PR freebies here so I've got Tilly's which is make every day a little less ordinary I love this shade of yellow um then we've got this one less bitter more glitter so great what a beautiful color scheme like I'm trying to think if I this would just be like so perfect for Halloween and like, I feel like less bitter would work really well. Uh, and then we've got this one, which is Natalie's. Even a bad day is only 24 hours. It's this kind of like, I thought it was more red than this, but it's actually like a pinky color. Uh, but that's really cute as well. And then we've got a couple of things here. So this is the May Freebie. Again, this is in the vinyl, which has been discontinued. And these are these like square doodles. So those are cute. And then uh, um, Anna has recently changed up the journaling card. So it's this more kind of like office-y one this looks a lot like my old laptop um so yeah that is very cute so yeah a, a good thing for me to have had a change because I do have about 600 of the last one <laughs> then most of this is kits um but I did also pick up these um like tablet doodles um so I do have an iPad you know it has an apple pencil and stuff so I thought that these tablet ones were good to sort of represent uh when I'm doing stuff on the iPad so I thought it could be good for marking like when I help Anna with mystery stuff I often do that on the iPad or just like iPad time or like watching shows stuff like that so I thought those were so cute so I wanted to pick those up I absolutely love the rainbow the rainbow doodles that Anna does I think they're so cute and then yeah this is just an embarrassing number of kits so let's get into them so the first one is coffee shop um these kits are on a mix of paper so when you if you order this kit if you haven't already um you may get it on the vinyl or if it goes out of stock and Anna restocks it then it will go back to being on the old paper which is either a regular removable mat or you can upgrade to premium which is not removable so that's the way it always has been in Anna's shop but there was just this kind of brief like six weeks or so that the vinyl was introduced um but there were kind of several kits that were produced on the vinyl so I do have a couple of them um the re way you can tell the difference I'm guessing that Anna will probably put the rectangle back uh on her logo so you can identify if a sheet's going to be like on her kind of normal paper rather than the vinyl because she removed the rectangle to show it was vinyl so I maybe should have clarified this with her before filming this but I would guess that's probably what she's going to do um but yeah so it may be that for the next few weeks there'll be a mix of stuff in the shop 
So this first kit is Coffee Shop. It's using absolutely beautiful kittenish Jess art. Oh my word, it is so gorgeous. Um, like I don't drink coffee, <laughs> like I don't drink iced coffee, like nothing, I really just don't like coffee and it really upsets me that I don't like coffee because I really like the idea of like aesthetic coffee drinks but I just don't like coffee. Um, but I do think this is gorgeous. I'm thinking of using this this year in like maybe June time. Um, I, I kind of, part of me wants to save it for like when I'm out and about for work and for events and stuff, you spend a lot of time in like station coffee shops and stuff while you're waiting for trains or you're waiting for events and so this would be ideal for that but i'm not going to have any of those for a while so i don't know whether to save the kit but i kind of don't want to because it's so gorgeous so i might just use it to mark like busy work season sort of thing but yeah i kind of miss going to coffee shops right now but yeah this is gorgeous so um anna does all her kits in a full and a mini um i get all of mine in full so you've seen this if you've watched any of my <laughs> hauls you've seen this format a million times so i'll just go through them but absolutely gorgeous uh, kit here so we've got kind of several functional pages of boxes we've got a checklist page oh okay it's jess's art <laughs> i'm so i just don't realize this so that's jess's art on the journaling card that's so cute also that makes it a bit more like work from homey so maybe i can make it work okay i'm gonna think about this i'm gonna try and use this kit this year um gorgeous bottom washi so cute and then i did pick up the glitter samplers i think for all of these kits uh, apart from one where they were out of stock because um i've kind of known uh, that anna might be changing paper and stocks may be strange and stuff so um i wanted to make sure i kind of had everything <laughs> so that's kind of why i picked up everything then we've got loads of add-on boxes so we've got this like all these really cute um like fashion boxes with different skin tones hair colors so cute love this outfit this is the kind of thing i would wear <laughs> um so yeah that's adorable so i'm so happy with that kit that's so cute then the next one is pink sands this is gorgeous um i like if you've watched my videos for a while like the last thing that i need is another summer kit because like we're not even going away but i really like this one <laughs> so like I, this right now like i feel like this is what i need in life is is this kind of holiday you know like go away away from like technology and <laughs> just be in the sun and stuff i think i'm just like so desperate for it right now but alas it is not happening but that is so cute i absolutely love this double box i actually usually i use double boxes on like a friday or saturday but this would also be really cute like on a wednesday and thursday like over the coil um if, if you use a coil bound planner that's really cute um so again you've seen this form up before uh, and this is on the vinyl as well so really cute format there i love the blue in this it's so cute um sorry being a bit slow <laughs> and then we've got gorgeous bottom washi there and again i did pick up the glitter sampler and then this is the um fashion box add-on so again just mix of skin skin and hair so that is really cool oh and those are the um glitter headers for the daisy kit again because anna did send me the daisy kit as part of testing the vinyl um but she didn't send me the glitter so i bought the glitter sampler add-on okay i think that's all the vinyl kits so the rest of these are on regular paper which is um one of the paper options that will be in anna's shop so this one is cat cafe um when i first saw that darcy was doing this art i was like that's an adorable theme but like i don't know when i would use it like cat cafe it's like very specific and then when anna put the kit together i was like well i need this <laughs> it doesn't matter that cat cafe is a specific theme i don't care <laughs> um and i do really love cats so yeah i decided to go for it i'm thinking of using this for my mum's birthday this year because pink and blue is her favorite color combo and she loves cats so i feel like it's a good one um but yeah this is so adorable <laughs> like i don't know why i ever questioned that this would work as a theme it's actually so cute those date covers are everything this deco is everything like it's a really i just really like this color combo like pink blue and brown it's, it's really unique but i love it i love it that bottom washi oh my God, and just look at all the different cats it's so cute that is so adorable uh as i said i did pick up the glitter samples for all of these and then again you get a load of box add-ons we've got a load of really cute like skin and hair tones so that is adorable then we've got office goals so this one is a really old kit like if it's still in the shop it's in last chance and it won't be like and it's not bringing it back so you'll need to pick it up um and this one's been in the shop for ages and i think i just missed its release at the time i don't really know how but i have kind of seen it in the shop a few times and for whatever reason and honestly i don't know that i have a reason i just haven't picked it up 
but it's beautiful <laughs> and I'm really glad I did. I'm thinking of using this again I, I don't know where I think I'm gonna fit all of these kits this year but I'm thinking of using this this year to kind of mark like the last week that I have apprenticeship stuff going on because like I don't study anymore <laughs> but I will have to study for my apprenticeship but I'm so far out of uni and that kind of thing and this is very much a kind of study kit to me um I mean you could definitely use it for like working from home and stuff it would definitely work for that because it's got you know like office well it's called office goals right it's not really it's it's really not specifically a study one but to me with like the textbooks and stuff like that I think it's very study themed so that's kind of what I would use it for and yeah as I say I'm not a student so I don't study but that's what I'm thinking of using it for this has got so rambly but yeah um this one didn't have the glitter headers in stock I don't know that I have glitter headers in this shade of pink but I would have pink orange and yellow so even if I don't have this deep pink I can make it work but yeah I'm so happy with this I'm pretty sure this is Jess art as well so obviously I love it um like look at the doodles in this color range it's so cute oh the bottom wash is everything <laughs> this is adorable um and then we've got the box add-on honestly i'm so happy i picked this up like i don't know why i waited this long then the next one is mum life um not a mum <laughs> uh and this art actually came out after uk mother's day so news of mother's day though i'm really happy with the kit i used for mother's day this year anyway that was jess art as well um but yeah i don't think i would use this to represent my mum on mother's day because to me and like you really th this is not like indicative of how other people should feel about this but like because of this box and stuff I feel like it's like a younger mum thing <laughs> and obviously given that I'm nearly 30 my mum is not a young mum um so that's kind of the vibe it gives to me so I probably won't use this and again like I'm just really funny about when I use kits so like anyone else could use this for Mother's Day but yeah I will probably save it I think this is going to go into my kind of category of kits that I just saved for a million years um but the colours are so different it's like a kind of pinky almost like rose goldy but with a sort of mint green it's so cute um yeah again it's full format you've seen it a million times before but it's just so cute and um, this bottom washi i mean if anything's gonna sell it to you flowers on bottom washi you shouldn't do it did pick up the glitter sampler and then this one comes with so many box add-ons so we've got um the fashion boxes in different skin tones and hair colors and then this one is also like a mother's couple of other mother's day boxes you could definitely like use this kit not for mother's day like this this kit on its own could just be like well it's called mum life right it could be anything to mark being a mum um or anything like that you don't even necessarily have to make it about mum like you could not use those boxes and it could just be like you know I don't know meeting your friend who's had a baby or something um so I think there's loads of ways you could use this but there's a couple of like specific mother's day add-ons if you wanted to use it as a mother's day kit then the last one <laughs> what an order this is is the celebrate kit again this is kit is jess art so because <laughs> always these hauls are just always jess art um so i had been really trying to refrain from picking up this kit not because i don't love it but because it came out at, i feel like did this art come out around new year or like around when new year's art was coming out and there was just like a lot of art happening at the time there was a lot of kit buying happening at the time and i was like i can't currently foresee when i'm going to use this kit so i'm going to be strong and not buy it and then Anna put this into last chance and I was like oh, well there it is and I need it and to be honest the more that I've thought about it the more I actually think it would be good to have this kit because you could use this to celebrate anything like it's definitely not necessarily just birthday it could just be celebrating life um like this box is maybe kind of birthday -y, but it could also just be gifts it could be a baby shower it could be new year like there's so many things you could use this for and my friend had her baby shower virtually in April and I didn't have a kit for it I have ended up purchasing like a specific baby kit that I think is kind of I yeah it kind of works but this was before I saw this kit and like I, so I actually think am I making any sense I don't know I think having a celebrate kit on hand that you can use to just celebrate anything which is what this kit would do is actually really beneficial to have in your collection um I'm so often somebody who's like you know oh I have to use kits for like really specific things and so if something happens that I need to celebrate and don't have a celebrate kit I would really struggle to find a kit so that's why I picked this up um so this is going to be one I just kind of keep in my collection for a time when I have something to celebrate basically 
so it's this really cute like purple pink green combo it's really lovely again it's still in the full format so it's really similar gorgeous bottom washi and the glitter sampler and then i picked up these add-on boxes so we've just got different hair and skin tones i really like this one because there's a real range of fashion people like i love that we've got like some asian representation we've got different hair tones um different hairstyles there so i really like this set from jess i think it's just um a lot of diversity in there uh, and then the last thing I picked up was the glitter add-ons for the thankful kit. This was in last chance as well. So I used the thankful kit last Thanksgiving. I'm in the UK, so we don't actually celebrate Thanksgiving, but I like Thanksgiving kits. Um, and I have a lot of American friends, so um, kind of like to do it for them. And the I so I have I have the kit. I've already used it. But in Oops bags that I got, which I opened around Christmas time, I actually had many of the pages left. Like I got loads of the pages of the thankful kit. Also, when I got the thankful kit, um, uh, Anna had to print one especially for me <laughs> because I'd actually ordered a different one and then I wanted to switch to that one. And she was amazing and she reprinted it. Um, and there, I think one of the sheets went oops, so she included them. So I had the full boxes again anyway because they'd gone, I mean, they weren't really oops, but Anna thought they were oops. Um, and so I had quite a lot of the extras and then I ended up with a lot of the other functional pages through the um, grab bags. So I thought, well, I'll pick up the glitter sampler then because I could probably genuinely use this kit again. I have most of the pages again. So yeah, I was trying to be resourceful. <laughs> okay cool so that is a massive stash of stuff um so yeah as i said i do have the main mystery to show as well i will do that at the end of this video and i'll give you loads of warnings before we get there but otherwise that is my orders from planner Faith. so next up we have once more with love i wasn't going to order from marg because i did a massive order at black friday so i didn't really need anything although actually there is stuff in here i did genuinely need i use her stickers a lot more than i used to so i really had got through quite a lot of my sheets and then she did a mother's day sale and it was like 15% off which in once more with love terms is like quite a lot of money off so I did end up ordering um so it comes with this really cute journaling card as long as you live keep learning how to live and we've got a message from Mark on the back I won't read it out but you can pause it if you want to read it um and then I've got some cute stuff so this is the freebie that came with the order <laughs> how is it may already so accurate um then if you're in the Facebook group you can put in a little phrase and you can get some oop sheets um so these are so yeah it's always generous because i've been sent three and like you just get them added for free so these ones are like weigh in munchkins where you could write how much the weight is i think that's adorable like i'm really rubbish at remembering to weigh myself but that is actually really cute then i got the beauty and the beast sheet so that's adorable like i cannot tell you what is oops about the sheet at all um but yeah i love beauty and the beast it's my favorite disney movie i do already have the sheet though i feel like it looks different to this one but anyway um yeah it's really cute and i'm more than happy to have another one and then this one is like payday 2.0 again i can't oh it's oops around the outside i was gonna say the stickers are absolutely fine um but yeah that's really cute as well i don't often mark like payday well i don't ever mark payday but i think these are cute for marking like savings and stuff which i do sometimes mark so that is really cute and then let's get into my order um not a huge order because you know i wasn't really planning to order so i needed to try and be strong but i did pick up basically kind of pretty essential sheets that i need i'm really happy with what i got so the first ones i picked up are these coloring stickers i don't color that often um i'm a bit rubbish at remembering to color i do actually like doing it when i do it but i'm not very good at remembering but i thought it would be cute to pick those up to mark when i do that then quite a lot of what i picked up here are work stickers i mark a lot of work stuff and because i'm working from home i get through loads of laptop stickers because i use them to mark like meetings and events and stuff like that so i just get through loads and so i need a better range <laughs> and i like that mark stickers are quite small because um a, some of the ones i have are just a bit big for some of the things so i think these work well so these are these kind of work from home no text <laughs> stickers uh, i absolutely love these these are like zoom call ones i've used quite a lot of these um i use them to mark meetings and to mark like zoom calls with friends i don't have as many of those now but yeah so i had to pick up a couple of those sheets this one is like netflix binge um and i really like these so i thought i would pick some more up these ones are really cute it's like tablet stickers again using this to mark like when i'm helping anna with stuff or just like having ipad time these ones are so cute anxiety 2.0 like hugging a pillow i just yeah you know sometimes you've got to mark that stuff in your planner then i picked up a couple of youtube binge stickers these are my favorite youtube binge stickers um uh they're just a really good size i wish that they were in more than just red um because 
the red really doesn't go with a lot of spreads. I know that's the colour of the YouTube button, but it doesn't go with that many spreads. So I would really love them in a mixture of colours, but they're really cute. I'd literally run out. So I picked up a couple of sheets of those, probably not really enough for how much I mark YouTube binge. Then I picked up a couple of these laptop computer stickers. I think these are adorable. And again, a really good like colourway mixture there. Then I also picked up a couple of sheets of the Musical Munchkins. I use these to mark, mark when I watch live streams. Like um, I often watch a live stream at ours and then my mum will watch one of hers and then we call after. Um, so I've got through quite a lot of these and it's really hard to find any stickers that are remotely musical. So I thought those were really good to pick up. Uh, I really like the cooking sheets, so I picked up a sheet of that. And then these ones are really cute. It's like meditation, which I'm... Mm, I kind of go through phases with meditation, but I would like to be a lot better at it. So I thought... I will pick those up for that. So that is a super cute order from Once More of Love. Then next up we have the Plump Planner. I've got a lot of really cute Disney stuff. So if you like Disney stuff, you'll enjoy this. So this is the May Freebie, which is in the same uh, art as the kit that I'm going to be showing. This is adorable. It's a really cute um, quick box. Then we've got a journaling card. I do have this one a couple of times, uh, but I think it's really cute. But um, if you've seen my hauls before, like I do keep um double journaling cards i give them to my friend emma or i um give them away for free as part of these stashes and stuff then this one is absolutely gorgeous i love this disney themed one and you've got like the the day and the nighttime art but yes that's so cute and i knew that karen was doing these i'm in karen's facebook group so when she said she was doing these i was like i need to make sure i get one <laughs> as part of my order um then I what i picked up was the dreamland main kit um so karen's kits like she has kind of different ways you can do it so this is like the main kit which is the four boxes and the half boxes and a little bit of deco and then there is a washi strip page you can add on there's a couple of other pages um karen's kit format isn't kind of quite the format that i use so what i've done is i've just picked up these pages and then i'm just going to pull in other bits from my collection i have a lot of like um disney washi like um you know like i have a load of it from like fantasy design store and stuff i feel like you know some of that would work um in place of like normal bottom washi so i think i've got enough there that i can kind of make make some stuff work the colors are very neutral and pastel so i should have some stuff that would go with those where i can make it a bit more my sort of format um but i really like the way that karen put these four boxes together i didn't see that many people actually do this art i think that was just because like loads of disney art was released in the same week um but i i think karen put it together the best like i love this double box with the castle i just think she i don't know she just really got it like the size of everything and stuff i just really like it so definitely wanted to make sure i pick it up from her and i really love karen and wanted to support her um and then i did also pick up the double box i probably wouldn't use this in my planner because i don't really use boxes the size of my planner but i like to have them like for my desk and stuff so i wanted to pick that one up as well and that's in the matching art and then karen also has started doing notebooks um like notepads and this one is just like a little list pad i thought this was so cute um so i will probably just keep this downstairs use it for like shopping lists or quick notes um but i just love that it's still in that same art it's got the gorgeous castle it's a really lovely feel paper like really good quality um and if you join karen's facebook group so it's just the plum planner on facebook um she often like releases them to us in the group first uh sometimes on special prices before they go into the main shop so i would recommend joining karen's facebook group because you can pick stuff up um through there so that is adorable uh, like really really cute order there from the plum planner then the last shop is emily harvey art i've ordered from emily a couple of times before and even though emily's not a planner shop she's an artist um but she does make like stationary items as well so that's why I include her in these hauls and I just really like Emily I followed her shop for a couple of years she's really lovely on Instagram and I just think her kind of way way about herself is really lovely so I like to support her and uh, she's going through a bit of a rough time at the minute and she had a sale recently and I just wanted to make sure that I showed my support during that sale so I just wanted to show her go this gorgeous tissue paper this is Emily that's basically what she looks like um but that was really cute that it was packaged in that um and then it came with this really cute journaling card saying thank you sweetie and it's got like a little thank you message from emily on the back so that is so cute uh just really lovely touch then i just picked up a couple of bits so this was free <laughs> um you had to like find it in the shop and add it in but this was free and so this was like what i actually ordered um this is Daphne is her name Daphne from Bridgerton um and this is just a I think this is a sticker 
I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, it feels like a sticker, uh, but more of like a vinyl-y sticker. And uh, Emily drew this herself and like, I have seen all of Bridgerton. I'm not as obsessed with it as everyone else, but I did enjoy it. I will watch any further series that they make. Um, but you know, it's not like Gilmore Girls, okay. Um, <laughs> which is how like, you know, for other people I know it's like their favorite show ever. It's not my favorite show ever, but I did enjoy it. Um, but I really love how she drew Daphne. I just think it's so cute. So the, the fact that this was free is just like an added bonus. But then also she had this really cute notepad. I'm just gonna um, open it up to see. Um, it's bigger than I expected because I don't read um, descriptions. Sorry, shop owners, that you put so much effort into them. I don't read them. Um, but it's just a Bridgerton um, notepad. And I think it's really cute. And there's a load of pages and it's really good quality. It's like so smooth. And I just love that it's got Daphne there looking so cute. Is her name Daphne? I feel like I've forgotten what her name is now. <laughs> um, but yeah, in terms of size, like I think in my head, this was the size I was expecting. Um, so I think this is A5 and this is A6. I'm pretty sure that's the difference. Um, but I love that it's bigger actually because um, I have a notepad on my desk at the moment. So uh, I'm having to do these assessments for some scholarships and I have to like kind of write down some stuff when I'm doing those. And uh, I actually use an A5 pad for that. So I can just switch and use this one. So this is so cute. I'm so happy with this. Uh, so yeah, that is my order from Emily Harvey Art. So I have already filmed this haul, but thankfully I haven't edited it yet. And this came today and it deserved to be included in this video. This is a gorgeous piece of Happy Mail from By Annabelle Designs. I actually haven't even opened it yet. But because it's just so pretty that I needed to show you. Massively appreciate her for spelling my name correctly. Uh, so it says, thank you so much for the support. I hope this uh, letter arrives safely and that you enjoy everything inside. Love, Annabelle. So cute. Thank you so much for this adorable packaging. Like, it's so cute. Um, and uh, Annabelle's based in somewhere in Europe. <laughs> um, so that's why I think she said that. So yeah, we are going to open this together <laughs> because I just had to show you how cute that was. So yeah, you can get a better look at the little note there. And it's just on like a little piece of paper. I don't want to ruin the sticker. <laughs> oh, this is just so cute. Oh, it's going to ruin the tissue paper. Maybe I should cut it. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, that's only a tiny rib. Just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. How absolutely gorgeous. So what this is, <laughs> um, so this is not a planner shop. It's an, uh, an art shop. Um, and I, I just, I absolutely love um, supporting small business artists. I think these guys are so talented. I wish I could do what they did. Um, so I love to show my support. And so I discovered by Animal Designs, I think just through um, like the explore tab of Instagram. And she has a really, really, really gorgeous art style. Um, but she's drawn some Winx Club postcards. I loved Winx Club as a kid. Like I used to get up at like 6 a.m. on a weekday before school. I would watch an episode of Winx Club and then I would go back to sleep and then get up for school. Um, and I've watched the new Netflix series. I know a lot of people don't like it. I understand the issues with whitewashing and stuff. Um, like I definitely understand that, but I did actually really enjoy like the story elements of the show. I really enjoyed that Dorcas from Sabrina was blue because she was always Minus Stewart's favourite character in the new Sabrina. Um, so yeah, so this is a pack of six Winx Club um, art pieces. There was one where it had all six of them together. I maybe, maybe I didn't get all six. I'm not sure. I'll have to open. I maybe only picked some actually. Or they were a set. I don't remember. We'll find out. Um, six is quite a lot when like I'm looking around my room now and I don't have masses of wall space and I actually have loads of art that I want to display. Um, she did have one which had all of them together, but I just really liked the individual ones. So I went for them all. So these are all freebies that were included. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Look at that hollow. Wow. So that is a gorgeous. We've just got um like a chilled girl, glasses, headband on, like so adorable. Then we've got this one, which is a different sort of hollow, like a matte hollow. Um, and she is reading Pride and Prejudice. So cute. And then this one, which has got like a hollow background. Um, oh, look at that shine. Wow, that shines insane under my lights. Um, and it's a kind of like Rapunzel-y style one. I would just say like based on the hair, but it's probably not really based on Rapunzel. But wow, so cute. Thank you so much. That is so generous. Oh my gosh. I think she's only recently opened her shop. And she does studio vlogs as well, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet. But yeah. So let us open. I'm so excited about these. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
she's really taken care into her packaging like seriously cute okay so here we go so we've got this really cute stella so cute and the colors are really good like i'm trying to look at the print but i'll show you guys um but the, the like the print is really lovely um and it's just like a white card stock so they're quite thick like definitely thicker than paper like it feels like card but they've still got that, that like wibble so that is stella we've got musa oh my goodness like musa wasn't necessarily my favorite in the show but this is a really adorable representation of her so cute oh techna again techna wasn't my favorite character though like i'm watching i'm watching it again at the moment like the original and and techna's not in the new one these are based on their like original cartoon um and there's a few different dubs of the winx club and i'm watching i think the four kids dub which is where techna's english is <laughs> like so bizarre but it's the best voices in my opinion because they're the ones i used to watch like on nickelodeon um and yeah again it's like techna Techno wasn't my favourite character back then. I don't really know who my favourite character was, to be honest. Um, but I think that this portrayal of Techno is just freaking adorable. Like, I'm pretty sure I've got the set of six here, yeah. And if I... Or maybe not. I don't think Flora's here. So maybe I didn't buy the set of six. Um, just double check. Oh no, Flora is here. She was tucked in behind Stella. Um, yeah, if I hadn't have bought the set of six, I would have bought, like, Techna and Musa and Bloom. I think would have been the three I got, but then I was like, I just want more. <laughs> um, anyway, this is Techna. So adorable. Like, I just, I just love Annabelle's art style. Like, I just think, oh, I just love it. So then we've got, um, okay, so now that this one was, like, on the back of um, Stella, so it definitely isn't, like, as thick as card. Like, it's still thicker than paper, but again, that's, like, why you get the wibble. But I think they're really good quality. Like, the paper feels really nice. So we've got Flora here. So cute. And again, really lovely print. Flora just looks adorable there. Uh, then we've got Aisha. Again, so cute. Like, I love how she's, like, sat on the cloud. <laughs> so cute. And then we've got Bloom. So beautiful. So I am so happy with those, honestly. Like, what a lovely little package. These will look so cute because they are obviously designed as a set. And so, like, three of them have got, like, a darker background. And three of them have got a lighter background. Um, so they would look really cute displayed. But they would probably take up all the wall space that I've got. Um, so I'm really going to have to think about, like, whether I display them or <laughs> what I'm going to do with them. But they are absolutely, like... I have no regrets about this purchase. <laughs> How friggin' stunning. So yeah, so I just wanted to tag that on. I'm so glad that these arrived like before I edited the video so that I could still show you. Um, so happy, like would definitely order again. Um, Annabelle doesn't have loads in the shop right now. Um, but yeah, obviously, hopefully the shop will go well and she'll release some more. Uh, and I'd be really excited to order from her again. So that is my order from By Annabelle Designs. The last bit of this is the main mystery from Planner Phase. So if you don't want to see that, that's totally fine. You can leave this video now. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, but otherwise, if you're choosing to stay <laughs> then it's so you can see the movie mystery okay so i'm gonna give you three two one three two one ah here we go so you can tell from the journaling card the theme is plants <laughs> um the reason that we wanted to do this theme um i should say in case this is the first of my videos you've watched um i help Anna from Planner Face with her mystery. So basically what I do is help come up with themes, I help build mood boards, I help come up with like ideas for clip art lists that we then send to artists to go and draw the kits. Um, so I help Anna with that. So yeah, we wanted to go for a plant theme because a lot of people love plants <laughs> and it's a good theme for this year I think because a lot of people have bought plants over lockdown and so works quite well for that. And um, Anna Planner Face has a uh, like a Discord social club. So if you haven't, yeah, like, if you've never joined us, like go and check out Anna's Facebook group. It will have the link to Discord. Or if you comment down below, I'm happy to send it to you. Um, but the Discord is like a group of us, and you know we're really close. We've done like Zoom calls before and stuff. Um, and we have a channel in the Discord that's specifically for plants. Like I don't own any, but <laughs> the the um, Discord crew do. And so this one is a little bit in honour of the Discord crew because they love plants, but also we know that this was just going to be a really popular theme. It's been requested quite a few times, so um, it was the one. It was the one. So I personally don't have any plants, <laughs> but I think that this is a really good theme for a lot of people. So I'll just show you the journaling card first. This is maybe my favourite journaling card of all the ones we've done um, because I just love how Anna did like these shelves um, and like the little cat. And then on the back, it's just um, this is one of the like digital papers that we had made. Um, but yeah, I just think this is adorable like 
um, this shelf features in the kit as well, but it's just so cute. It's come out really well on a journaling card. Um, we'll come back to those add-ons. So this kit is on the vinyl, but as mentioned, the vinyl is being discontinued. So it will be going back to being on either regular metal premium, depending on what you pay for um, in future months. But yeah, it is so cute. Uh, like, look at the shelves. Like, yeah, it's it's an absolute like yeah i don't know if you love plants you'll love this kit like but i also think it's a really good stay at home kit it's a really good like refreshy kit it's good for kind of like just chilled weeks at home i think this kit works for like quite a lot of things i love the color combo as well kind of greens oranges like terracotta colors which is really cute um there are options for full or mini in the mystery subscription i get the, the full one um i do get it gifted as well i don't pay for the mystery this is like part of what i get for helping anna um so we've got some really cute deco which is all plants <laughs> uh, i absolutely love these date covers got super cute yeah as i said you've seen, you've seen the format so i'll kind of go through these look doodles in those colors that's adorable um then we've got that same pattern that was on the journaling card as the bottom washi which is so cute i can't name any of these plants <laughs> um and then as part of the mystery you get this special page which is like mystery specific which has an extra double box um scripts some more doodles my fave uh square boxes my absolute favourite addition to Anna's kits, which is movie marquees. And then you get these kind of like little things, but they're not that little, uh, like labels. And then you get a glitter sample as well. But yeah, this is a mystery specific page. And then in terms of box add-ons, so we've got here like an, another additional box. We've got some alternate um, skin tones, hair colours, etc. So like the mystery kit would be so easy to use over two weeks. And if you want to see kind of how you could do this, um, my friend Tilly, she has a YouTube channel and she does this anyway with all kits pretty much where she does, she pla uses it in two planners, but obviously she is, why would I say obviously you wouldn't necessarily know this, but she's one of um, Anna's PR team as well. So Tilly gets the, the mystery and stuff as well. And she shows like really well how to use it across two weeks. Um, so I'd recommend checking out Tilly's channel because she, yeah, she does it really well. But it's super cute. So yeah, that is uh, everything I'll show you. So I will wrap up this video. Okay, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I will link to all of these shops in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And you can also find me over on Instagram at peace.love.plan. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!